Continuing now with a remarkable personal story of courage and immense loss, I'll be speaking with Shira Mark, a terror attack survivor who had to un endure unbelievable tragedy in recent years. Shira's brother, Sergeant Padaya Mark, was killed in combat in Gaza at the very end of October when their vehicle was hit by an anti-tank missile fired by Hamas. Seven years ago, Shira's dad, Rabbi Michi Mark was killed in the West Bank in the Hamas terror attack as gunmen fired into his car as he was leaving religious study. Padaya, the hero IDF soldier who died in Gaza, was 15 years old back then. He was in that car. He was also seriously hurt, and Shira's sister was also wounded. Shira joins us now. Shira, thank you so much for uh, being with us and spending a few uh, a few minutes with us on I-24 News. I cannot imagine... You know your pain and how much you must miss your brother every minute of the day. Uh, so I thank you for being willing to share your thoughts with us. I want to ask first about the war. The war goes on. You know more soldiers sadly are still losing their lives every day. What in your mind is an end result of the war? Something that must happen. Israel must accomplish uh, for his sacrifice to the country. So first of all, I have to say when it's happened and my brother died, I was like, okay, it is it. Everybody need to go out from Gaza. We need to like everybody stay alive. Don't go there. I was like so in a panic and like everybody need to go out now. This is what happened after my, my brother died. But just minute after, I realized, no, my brother won't us to win and we have to do it it's not even an option we have to do it like for him for this country for our people to live here quiet and in safety we have to do it and it's not even a question even if people like lose life even if it's my brother it's not even a question for us sure you should live that right you say that you know, for your brother's sacrifice it's only worth it if Israel wins this war. What does winning exactly. what does winning mean? Uh, it's a hard question. I'm not like an officer in the army or something like that, so I don't know like exactly what it's supposed to be. But I know um for me to win it's to be in Israel strong and to like continue life, safety and like to to finish with Hamas and for us, the people like stay here and need to live daily to be good people, to do like the best to continue life and to do it the best way. And this for me, what my brother want, like Hamas fi fight from hate. And my brother, he fight from love, the people that he love, the country that he's love so much so this is what we need to do to stay like uh love people and to be better well, sure what and do you miss need to continue. what do you miss most about padaya your brother i mean what what is something that you miss more than anything about him being here <laughs> you know my my brother was like kind of person that he just like walk into the room even if you don't say like a word, everybody can feel it. He was so strong and so with a good eyes and his smile. So sometimes I just miss him to be here with his smile, with his good eye. Steal she my cookies from the closet. <laughs> uh, I, I he was like uh, the man that not speaking a lot at all like how you doing fine <laughs> it's is it but he was so deep person and everything that he did he did the right way and he was like so smart and strong and i i appreciate him like everybody say like how he died he died like it was four thousand soldiers go into gaza in saturday in the beginning of the of the they, they go into Gaza. He was the first one. From 4,000 people go to Gaza, the soldier, soldiers, he was the first one. 
But for me, it's not was like how he died, how he lived after the terror attack. He had so hard time to live, to choose life without my father, with the post-trauma, with everything. And he chose every day, step by step, to choose in life, to smile, to be soldier. It was a long and hard day, uh, way, and he did it. And I think this, the more important is how we live, not how we die. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing some of those, those memories. Maybe you'll keep the cookie jar half empty always in honor of Padaya. <laughs> You've been through so much, you know, the loss of your, of your dad, of your father, because of a terror attack, the loss now of your brother fighting in this war. Do you believe, do you personally believe that there can be peace? Will there be peace with the Palestinians? And what will that take? First of all, I just want to say it's not just like uh, my father and my mom get hurt uh, with a brain damage in the terror attack. And also my, my older brother, four years ago, uh, in the Mossad, he also died. So they are the third in our family. It's the third time. It's not the second, even. Wow. Um, so given yeah. given all of that, that that all of those losses and that grief, your thoughts on a possible peace with the Palestinians? I know. I want to be kind of person that always want peace in my mind, in my heart, but also I think we need to be like really realistic and to see if we have someone to speak. And if not, we need to do it uh, in the right way. Like what happened now, it's it's because we, we want to believe that we have someone to speak with, but we didn't. So... Yeah. Shira, thank you so much for uh, sharing a few memories of the kind of man that your brother was and the memories that you still carry every day of him and sharing a little bit about your story and uh, being brave enough to talk with us on, on TV. Great to have you. Thank you, Shira, so much. Thank you.